Everybody was so ready to see this thing go to space. I showed up at the mission support area. Of course, it's buzzing with activity and everyone's feeling good. It was maybe a good thing that everybody was pouring all of their anxious energy into tiny problems. People checking, rechecking, making sure that all of the things that kept them up at night, they managed to address. It was like coming a little bit out of a dream, just thinking about all the Eight, little details. Seven, six, five, four. Right when it launches, three, you get the big picture two, just washing one. over you. Engine ignition. It is the most astonishing show of power. And I could not almost believe what I was seeing. I mean, by the time you're looking up at this thing, it's like you can just feel every, every ripple of the engine. You feel it just kind of cascade through your chest. I mean, it's, it, it's the most amazing feeling. And there go the fairings, revealing Psyche to the atmosphere. We had this beautiful video feed and we could see as it just started to drift away. And it was perfect. No spin, no tumble, anything. Just slowly moving away from the launch vehicle. We thought it could be hours before we heard from the spacecraft. Basically, as soon as it turned on its radios, we got that signal. And we actually had data from the spacecraft for the duration of the solar array deployment, so we could really confirm that that was working. The turn on of the instruments has gone extremely well. The magnetometer, the gamma ray spectrometer, the neutron spectrometer, the imagers, the gravity experiment we know is going to be successful. We've turned on our electric propulsion, first use of Hall thrusters outside of the Earth-Moon system, and even our technology demonstration, the deep space optical comms, uh, doing laser communication. I think we've downloaded data now at 260 megabits per second, way, way faster than anything that's been downloaded from space before. The next big thing that I'm really looking forward to is the Mars flyby. I want to see what we can do with the instruments or what the instruments can tell us about Mars. And that'll be the first time that, you know, we fill the field of view of the cameras with something illuminated. So I, I, I think that that'll be a really exciting moment. In my heart, what I really would love for it to be is that Mars was a mission that ignited in so many people the thrill of wanting to see the unknown. Oh my gosh, wait till we get there.